I was certain the defenses of the Starforge would destroy you. But I see there is more of your own self in you than I expected. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. You're still making the mistake of underestimating me, Malik. This ends here, now. Once you were stronger than me, Revan. But as your apprentice, I surpassed you. The Master must always be stronger than the Apprentice. That was why I betrayed you. You would be a far greater asset to me than even Bastila and her battle meditation if I could control you. Control me? I barely could control me, and you think you could? Perhaps you are too powerful to be my Apprentice. I betrayed you when I realized my own strength was greater than yours. In time, you might try to do the same to me. I will never, ever serve the dark side again. I believe in the power of redemption. I've experienced it, and I've seen it. Of course. What else do you have? We have been inexorably pushed to this final confrontation, Revan. I see now that this can only be settled when one of us destroys the other. Once again, we shall face each other in single combat, and the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. I tire of this, Malik. It's time I remind you of why I was once your master, and you, my apprentice. Despite my best efforts, they have thrust you into the role of savior. I've been given another opportunity, Malik. And I will make it count. <laughs> This is your last chance. Surrender now, and the Jedi might show you mercy. Is that what you call it? You think stripping away your power and your identity was an act of mercy, Revan? I would rather die. That can be arranged. No, Revan. This time our confrontation can only end in death. You continue to amaze me, Revan. If only you had been the one to uncover the true power of the Starforge, you might have become truly invincible. But you were a fool. All you saw was an enormous factory. All you ever imagined was an infinite fleet rolling forth to crush the Republic. You are blind, Revan. Blind and stupid. Perhaps blind. Yes. But in the end, my blindness gave me, and the galaxy, another chance. The Starforge is more than just a space station. In some ways, it is like a living creature. It hungers, and it can feed on the dark side that is within all of us. You cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Starforge. Aside from the moment I seized the mantle of Dark Lord from your feeble grasp. You are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have surpassed you in every way and accomplished what you never could. You have reclaimed your identity, Revan, but you have lost the power you once wielded. You are not the Dark Lord anymore. You're right, Malik. I'm not the Dark Lord anymore. And I'm not Logan Star either. I'm something more. Oh. 
savior, conqueror, hero, villain. You are all things, Revan, and yet you are nothing. In the end, you belong to neither the light nor the darkness. You will forever stand alone. Not alone. Impossible. I... I cannot be beaten. I am the Dark Lord of the Sith. This is the way of the dark side, Malik. All things end in death. We both knew that. <laughs> Still spouting the wisdom of the Jedi, I see. Maybe there is more truth in their code than I ever believed. You were the one who found the first star map on Dantooine, Revan. <coughs> it was you who led us on our quest for the Star Forge. I only followed in your wake. Yes, many did. It'll haunt me forever. I... I cannot help but wonder, Revan. What would have happened had our positions been reversed? What if fate had decreed I would be captured by the Jedi? Could I return to the light as you did? <coughs> if you had not led me down the dark path in the first place, what destiny would I have found? I did lead you to the dark side. That much is true. It is one of the countless atrocities I did in the darkness that enveloped me. Sins that will always lurk just under the surface. I can't change that now. I could only embrace it. I am sorry I started you on this path, Malik. But you chose to continue down it. I suppose... I suppose you speak the truth. I alone must accept responsibility for my fate. I wanted to be master of the Sith and ruler of the galaxy. But that destiny was not mine, Revan. <coughs> it might have been yours, perhaps. But never mine. And in the end, as the darkness takes me, I am nothing. It's... it's finished. Yet in his dying words, there is truth. How can I go back now, knowing the things that I've done? Perhaps I'm no better than him. I am Revan, and Logan. There's no choice anymore. I'm Revan the Jedi, Revan the Sith, Revan the Murderer, Revan the Redeemed. But there is no place in the Jedi for me. There was no place in the Sith for me either. I was both, but now I am neither. The Force works as it will. We cannot turn away from the path we've started on, no matter where it may lead. You're right. This path has led me to my friends, and to you, Bastila. That's all that matters now. Let's get to that hangar.